my name is Brad Hannick. I'm a physical therapist. And I'm Bob Schrupp, and I'm also a physical therapist. Okay. What we're going to talk about today is uh, the TENS unit, and particularly on when not to use it. And uh, let me go back up and give some generalities of when TENS units are typically used. First of all, you should always have a referral and an order from a physician for a TENS unit. Um, there are certain reasons why you use a TENS unit, and that's where you start. From the physician, then the physician refers you typically to a therapist, and the therapist gives you instructions on how to properly use the unit. Um, typically, TENS units are used on the arms and the legs, the extremities. Okay, uh, Usually not on the face or the head, um, away from the chest. Uh, a good example of uh, a good contraindication when you definitely cannot use it if you have a pacemaker. Okay, the, uh, there's going to be electrical current flowing through parts of your body, it's a small amount, but it could be enough to uh, interfere with the operation of a uh, pacemaker. Uh, Bob is going to give some more details on things you should not use. And I think you were to mention, Brad, that it can also, uh, a very popular area is also to use it possibly on the neck and back, though, right. but not directly on the spine. So what I mean by that, Brad, can you just turn around a little bit? Just, can you catch that? Um, the spine runs right along here, that's the, the actual spine, but you can certainly use it on the muscles around the spine, and that's, that's where you should be using it, not directly on the spine or on the neck. You can use it on the muscles around the neck. So, all right, so now just so, so we're, we're uh, being complete here, let's we'll go through the list. Um, you're not going to, these are the electrodes right here, and they attach over onto here. Can you see that? So these electrodes, they're self adhesive. Um, is that the way to say it? Yeah. <laughs> um, they stick well. They stick well. And that's a big positive. I, mean, we, I remember the days where we used to have to tape them on and put our own gel on. But um, you're not going to want to put them on your eyes. You're not going to want to put them on what they call transcerebrally for your uh, headache. That's just not indicated. indicated. You're not going to want to put it on your neck, which we got the carotid arteries here that can throw things off. Um, again, not on the chest, especially if you have a pacemaker. I'd stay away from the chest probably generally overall, but they talk about definitely don't want to put one here and one here so that it goes through the chest. Um, you don't want to do it internally, which means not in your mouth, not anywhere say else. Say no more. Say no more. You don't want to do it on broken skin, uh, areas or wounds, and you don't want to do it on a tumor or malignancy. So, One other thing is if you uh, happen to be uh, typically a male and very uh, hairy person, you usually have to shave the hair off if you really have a lot of hair so they, they uh, do stick well and they're, they're more effective that way as well. They don't hurt as much coming off, but it, it's just they won't work as well, I think. Right. So, right. Uh, I wouldn't use it on a pregnancy unless the doctor recommends. Um, any place where your circulation might be impaired, that I would also make sure it's okay with your doctor. If you have a heart condition, I don't think I would do it, and I, don't, I wouldn't use it by someone who has epilepsy. Right. And just to, so that's the general areas. Uh, you know, consult your physician or physical therapist if you have any questions.